Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is the Squatch and welcome back to the modded full stack server. So in the last episode we built this ore vein miner kind of thing. And let's check on its progress. Oh, that's pretty sweet. So we have two more of those Ardite ores, which is pretty sweet, and a wide collection of everything else, including things that I've never seen before. Dimensional shard ore, what does this do? Uh Actually it makes shards when you mine it. Lon's delight. What does that do? Make a block, and that seems to be it. But uh, it seems to be silk touching it as well, so we can then fortune it for more goodies. But it's also taking forever. Like this was over. I left this overnight, and it's that's all it's done so far because it's still taking six million RF per ore. What sounds goes down? <clears throat> also, I apologise if I still sound bunged up. It's because I'm still ill. I'm recording this the day after the previous one, so uh, yeah, still ill. But I had an idea based on what I saw from, I think, Hypnotized's video, is to make bio-generators and use biofuel. Because that produces, like, an insane amount of energy. So we could do that and use the advanced universal cables to transfer lots and lots of energy over to the miner and then probably disconnect the wind turbine so we can actually use that for our main base. Let's just sleep away the night. I do have a sleeping bag, but seeing as I'm here, I may as well use the bed. Um, so let's, because I, I originally tried, I originally wanted to make one of these, and I accidentally shift clicked, and now I have seven, I think. But let's just plonk them down. Um, let's do it here. Hopefully these don't affect. Actually, wait, let's turn them around. They look way, way better from the other side. Uh, hopefully they don't. Oh. Okay, maybe you can't. Can you do that? Nope. Oh, well, I'll just have to put up with it to hit, put up with it like this for now. So let's just use three for now. Let's put one biofuel in and see how much it generates. Oh my goodness. It doesn't output much. It doesn't output as much as the wind turbines. But it produces much, much faster. So I'm hoping that if we do if we put like a bank of these all in a row and then link them up, it's gonna be pretty powerful. So let's do that. I know we have one left over. Let's keep that for some other, something else. And then put these on the top. Oh. Oh, the... the uh. If you guys know of a mechanism wrench, please let me know. Because <laughs> I'm having to dig away these things every single time I misplace them. So it would appear, as I probably should have realised, that this is the output. Yep. Okay. So that means we then need to change these around. So to to face this, yeah, okay, good, that works. And then put the cables on this side. I'm really hoping it doesn't affect the digital miner, whatever this thing's called, the void miner. Um, hopefully not, hopefully it doesn't. Um, I guess we'll find out. So if we have these running on the sides, that makes actually this a little bit easier because we can make item ducts from Ender.io. Let's have a look, item, con oh, that's item conjurers, that was it, unless this is it. Item conduit, yeah. They require pulsating iron, which is crafted in an alloy smelter with iron ingots and enderpearls. And normally, that would really suck because I don't have any enderpearls. <laughs> but I've just seen in our combined Discord chat that Milk and Nick have crafted up an enderman spawner. So let's go visit that. Um, yeah, here we go. They have a travel anchor set up, so if you stand on that, you can see spawner and main room if you press shift or space. It teleports you down here. Oh, this is this looks pretty. So this is the first time I'm seeing this. They have the ender in there. Okay. Oh, oh, okay. Zombies and endermen. Uh, do I need to do anything? I I don't know. Those are cool conveyor belts though. They're like really fast conveyor belts. Oh, and of course the ender, ender sword makes the enderman not teleport away. That is really handy. So are you dropping enderpearls? Um, are they being sorted anywhere? Maybe. I don't know what these things are. Vats of some sort. Um, are they being stored here automatically? There's one. 64? What the hell? I didn't know these could uh, stack to that much. If I separate... Oh, wow. Okay. This must be a modded thing. That's awesome. Um, can we check how many there are? Let's just get rid of our... Have an open hand, shift, right click. Oh, 446, okay. 
I don't feel too too bad about taking a stack. Um, oh, it activates on the pressure plate. Oh, that's clever. So if I stand off it, does the... Ah. Very nice. What if they have a video up about it? I will try and link it in the in the in the description because that's pretty cool. So how do I get out? Surface. Oh, it made noise that time. So let's head back to our base, which is over that direction. Wing. Oh, I hit something. So what I've got pretty good at actually is slime slinging, and then jetpacking just before the ground so that it doesn't doesn't. Uh, flick you up all the time, which makes it a bit more acceptable. So do I have iron on me? I do. So let's make some energetic alloys. Um, let's put the enderpearls in first, otherwise you accidentally make um, refined iron. Can I not shift? There we go. So I'll let that smelt up. So we can now make item conduits to feed into this. Um, I've made a crusher, but I put it down. So I've accidentally built two crushers. <laughs> Probably don't need two crushers, because one will be sufficient. Um, but let's put one down for now anyway. Does it have power in it? It does. I wonder if this can be self-sufficient then. Because if we if we link this up... Uh, how am I going to do this? Sure. If we link this up to this system, it could self-sustain it, itself. What? Self. It can be self-sustaining. <laughs> Words. Um, so let's link that up. This is just temporary. I'm going to find a more permanent position for probably both of these things. Um, I just wanted to build these out here for now just to see how they work. So if we build the crusher, okay, then we can put wheat in. Do we have any left over? Uh, wrong chest. This one. Uh, blah, 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 blah. No, I turned it all into biofuel. So that's no problem. Let's put some in here. Put 25 in there. Put some... Put 10 in there. Ooh, 10... 14, sure. 10. Oh, that hum. That smooth industrial hum. Wow. We should probably find some way of storing this. I do have an energy cube. Oh, by the way, that's another thing I, I did off camera. I swapped out the capacitor for the energy cube because I, for some weird reason I couldn't get an output on this line up to the digital miner. Oh, the void miner. Man, how many times am I going to call it the digital miner? So I changed it for the energy cube and that seemed to fix it. So there's some weird bug with Ender I.O. capacitors, I assume. Um, so that's stored 64k RF, which is pretty tasty. Are, can you upgrade the output? That's what I want to know. I want to see if you can increase the maximum output. Hmm. Well, we'll find out. So then if we just... Um, yeah, sure, just do this. Um, with the Torturino one, this becomes like a trivial activity. But we at some point, we do need to automate that. So we can then crush the wheat. It's slow, but I reckon... Well, I don't know, do you think we'll be able to keep up with this? Maybe we we'll, might, might be able to keep up with this. Um, so that creates four biofuel each. I guess it depends on how quickly this actually like exhausts the, the, material, the uh, power. We can actually just link this up immediately right now, because this is functioning. We just don't have it fully functioning. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Oh man, that, that hum. Where's that hum, hum coming from? That's weird. In my speed, in my headphones, it's... Oh, this is becoming very loud. Ooh. Let's turn it down a little bit. Okay, that, that should help. Sorry if that was loud previously. So hopefully now we can... Sp oh yes, Cobalt! Oh, that's, that's actually exactly what I wanted to get. That is beautiful. Sweet. I want to upgrade my pickaxe. Um, and my sword, actually, to Manulin. And we can do that now with Cobalt and Ardite. So hopefully, now that we've got these generators pumping, they're outputting, what, 280... 280 times 6 would be 1,400 plus... Uh, 280. 1,680. Is that right? 1,680 RF per tick. That sounds roughly accurate. I uh, can't quite think off the top of my head. Um, but yeah, that's pretty sweet. So we now have a lot of energy being produced. Can we keep up with the crusher, though? And we do need those item conduits. Right, let's make those item conduits. God, this is probably like the longest time I've ever talked on an episode before in one go. 
Um, let's get the item conjured binders, and I think we need to just do... Where did that go? Here. Is this right? No. How do I make it? Oh, it's the nuggets. Oh, even better. That makes it a bit cheaper. Sweet. So well, now we can make three, oops, three sets of this. Bloop, bloop. Yeah, 24. That should do very nicely. So let's do one out of here and across into all of... Oh, they're all extract. Uh, well, I'm going to have to change those. So why don't I actually go and blow my nose? <laughs> I know, gross, but uh, that's what happens when you're ill. I'll turn these around and I'll be right back. Right, so here we are. We have extracted all of the wheat, all of the, um, oh, no we haven't. Why have you not extracted? Always active. Oh, I need to put the output as the top. That would make sense. So now, yes, all these engines are running. All of them being this first one only. That's a little bit annoying. Maybe we have to resort to extra utilities to have one put in each of these generators. But anyway, we're powering this. Have we got anything immediately afterwards? No, it doesn't look like it. Maybe one more redstone? I can't remember how many there, there were before. Um, but anyway, so I found this... Oh, I haven't made it yet. I found this block, the mechanical user, and I've seen that this essentially just right-clicks the ground. So if we do an experiment right here with... Oh, and seeds, and the torch. We should be able to create a very efficient... Weed farm. So I'm putting it here so that it doesn't affect anything else. 3x3, three 200, 300, 400. And I think that needs a redstone signal, so let's quickly make a lever. Or just place a redstone block next to it. I could have done that as well. Um, so there we go. Here's a lever. If I do that, just need a pulse. Hmm. How does this work? Oh. Generic click, right click. Yeah, right click. No, left click. Place block, use item on block, activate block. Use item. Entity. <laughs> Generic click. Hmm. Always on, random slot, upper left slot only. I could have sworn this works. Place block, no. Use item on block. If I put a, a bucket in there. Hmm. So I looked up at the wiki, and it seems that this only works in non-claimed chunks. So I moved it over here, oops, because that's still the wilderness. And it works, which is interesting because it doesn't seem... I don't understand why it was in fact, uh, in, it, bleh, impacted by the affected. Affected and impacted. <laughs> impacted by the chunk claims. But in order to chunk load... You need to claim it, so we're going to have to uh, find a find a way of farming this without this block. But uh, for now, I think this will do. And let's put a vacuum chest down, which the recipe is very simple. You need some more of these pulsating iron nuggets around a diamond, and some iron in a chest. So very simple. And now all the wheat and the seeds will get sucked up into there. So very nice. So let's. So th this thing still seems to be running, which is pretty awesome. Um, but it's only the one. So we need to either like mass produce this biofuel so that it fills up everything, or find another or a more efficient single block, or at least a more efficient power generation source. And I know that we have big reactors in here. And getting yellow right, let's have a look. Extreme reactors it's called. Extreme reactors. So to get yellow right. We can use a green lens. Okay, I would have expected a yellow one. And that increases it by seven, or just shy of seven times. But I think that if we give this thing enough power, we should be getting lots of random stuff anyway. Including end. Did I see that? I must, I must have just seen that before and not realised. Yeah, we've got some end ore here. Tungsten. It's pretty cool. I think that's from the, yeah, Tech Reborn mod. Cool. Tungsten dust. I remember this from like Minecraft 1.2.5 modded. It's a long time ago. Tungsten ingots. You can make mixed metal stuff. I remember it being used for a little something. That, oh yeah, energy flow circuit. And you need that to do. I think it's a high voltage solar array or something. Or the suit. Oh, superconductor. Yeah. Anyway, big big tech tree. 
Um, so how are we doing? Okay, that's still filling up this one. So we need to have, we definitely need to have more crushers. So then we can over overfill the system with wheat and, yeah, stock up on things. So we need another crusher in there. Let's actually just bring the crusher from over here, seeing as I'm not really using it. So we can place this one down right next to the other one. Oh, we're going to have to destroy this window box. Oop. Destroy window box. And then output to the top. Yes, output, auto object on. And add another item conduit. Like so, right click, always active. So now we need to somehow feed this in, feed wheat, oh, feed wheat into this thing, uh, which shouldn't be too difficult. We just have to put conduits on underneath. Let's just uh, patch this up. Right. Oh, uh, <laughs> this this uh, bag is both a blessing and a curse sometimes. So let's put those conduits back. Where did they go? There they are. And want you to insert, and want you to also, oops, insert, and then come down one block so that we can hide it. Over, I suppose over to there, I guess is probably like the most sensible place to put it. Seems a bit silly to have to go all the way over there, but that's just what has to happen. Right, so the cable is linked up now all the way over there from this chest. But I only want to extract wheat. So I've made this basic item filter. And if you put it into here, you can select what things to pull out. So let's grab one wheat. Oops. Or a stack of wheat. Which is probably going to go back in there anyway. And then we put this in here. And turn this to... Oops. Uh, always active. You should see the wheat being pulled out, right? Maybe. I think I've figured out the issue, and I'm probably going to be, like, the biggest idiot if this is the case. So I thought it might have been a block issue, so I tried to divert it into here first, and that didn't seem to make a difference. And then I remembered, these things have an import, an input block. So if I turn this to red... Uh, <laughs> oh man, that's, just, that's, like, stumped me for about half an hour. Well, that's embarrassing. So those things are going, <laughs> um, and I guess this is, this actually works to our advantage because then we can have a, an expanding storage to to store all these things. Uh, we need to do something about these seeds. What can I actually use seeds for? Magic bean, runic tablets, uh, ring of growth, sure. Plant ball. Well, I, I remember you could do something quite clever with this. You can make biofuel from this as well. Fermenter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You can make power, forestry power. So that might be a thing that we do later on in the in the future. But let's quickly just cover all this messy wire. And never speak of this fiasco ever again. <laughs> so yeah, that's still going. And if we... Oh yeah, the Torturina will come in range of the sugarcane, but the sh sugarcane will then get picked up by this. Although any wheat will get extracted, so... We should be fine, and we seem to be producing more wheat than we're extracting. How are we doing for producing biofuel? Uh, yeah, biofuel. Is it called biofuel? Yeah. So we could do with putting some more speed upgrades in here, but then that would take away from the overall power consumption. Ah, this one's turning on now. So this one's full. Yes, this one's full. So it seems to be this one's the most, like the second most preferred one. So that should be feeding into here. Anything new? I really can't tell. No new blocks anyway. I really wish we could find a more efficient uh, power output, but anyway, this seems to be working for now. Let's hopefully, well, let's wait for a bit and hope that this, uh, all these machines fill up with biofuel. So I think that will about do it for this, for this episode. I'm still a bit ill, so sorry for keeping this a bit short. But we do have a functioning power supply now. It seems to be doing quite well. I changed the chest out for a storage drawer and put a diamond upgrade in there, so you should store... Uh, whatever the base thing is, times 8. So something like 16 times 8 stacks for each of the items. I'm not entirely sure if we've got anything new here. Um, I've been looking at it just to see if we've changed in the system, to, like fiddled with the system. But the beam is still there, so hopefully it still works. And this is now filling up. This is also full. So we should see one of the other ones turn on. 
Yeah, this one. Okay. But I, for some reason, I didn't see that top bit. Maybe I'm just going blind. But anyway, this has been The Squatch. I hope you have enjoyed. I'd like to be very much appreciated if you have. I shall say thank you very much for watching, and see you in the next episode.